Well, welcome back to Morning Break. It is soup season, and one of the most popular kinds of soup, chicken noodle soup. Mm -hmm. Karen McHugh is a home cook from Savannah. She likes to make healthy, affordable dishes, and she likes to make chicken noodle soup as I well. I sure do. She is with us this morning in the kitchen to show us her recipe on uh, chicken noodle soup, because everybody's family has a little bit something different in theirs, don't they? They probably do, and I can't tell you where I got my recipe from, but I have what I have. This will be a traditional savory. We're going to start with stock. You can't Chicken noodle soup, you can't have the chicken without the soup. Right. Soup we right. can call stock. So we're going to start by making the chicken and the stock, and in this case, it's all savory. You mm -hmm. can take a number of spices and put them in, but I'm going to do the classic. Remember the old, uh, what's it, uh, Simon and Garfunkel parsley? <laughs> sage, rosemary, so we're going to use sage, rosemary, and thyme mm -hmm. in this. So I mentioned you're a home cook. Yes. Uh, so like myself, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm a home cook, not classically trained, but oh. you've cooked a long time and you just kind of keep developing recipes, yep. picking them up along the way. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I love when people do that because, you know, uh, chefs, they're great. They're, you know, they are. We need them. They yeah. get all kinds yeah. of training. They open yeah. great restaurants. They do. But you don't go to a restaurant every night. No, so, we don't. You, yeah. know, you want to eat something good at home, you got to learn <laughs> yep. yourself. So yes, it's great we to do. see you did. So, all right, let's right. kind of get going here. So through the magic of television, a lot <laughs> of this is, we're going to take a nice, clean chicken. You're going to want to rinse it out. You're going to want to take out any packages yeah. of the, the guts and, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. The neck is sometimes the stuck neck. in there. Now, that you can put in. You don't want to put in the livers because the livers, the there are. Livers you want to leave out because the livers That's will give it a funky out. sort of flavor. So you want to put your chicken in a pot. You want to cover it with water. You want to add your herbs. You can go crazy with this, right. go light, however you want. And then you want to go raid your kitchen and take out your leftover vegetables. Nothing too heavy. So you might want to put in a little carrot. Right. So you're uh, basically making the stock here. I am making right. the stock. And the stock is going to taste like whatever you put in the pot. Exactly. So Very good. I noticed you didn't, you didn't cut up the chicken. I did not. That's going to come later. I'm going to fill this with water. We're going to take, if you can hear me, the cover. Um, yep, this is going <coughs> to go on the stovetop okay. for an hour and a half at a low simmer. Bring it to a boil, down to a low simmer. And as my sister said, it's called patience with poaching. What we're actually going to be doing is poach the chicken for an hour and a half in the pot. Bada bing, bada boom. It comes out. You cool it down. You lift up your chicken out of it. Okay. And then you put your chicken in here in now again okay, through I'll the magic here for now. thank you through the magic of television i did one yesterday okay and i made some stock that's now boiling so now you've pulled the skin off of this right i have not completely okay. i start but i will that's a very good point yeah. you don't want the the um you don't want the skin, skin in the in final this product, at all. although there's, again, a lot of flavor in the skin, so you definitely want to make the stock with the skin. Right, absolutely. So then you're going to take your pieces of chicken, and I'm going to use my fingers, pardon sure. me, and you want to shred it and put it in a bowl. You do want to shred it small enough for right. eating. And that's a personal thing, too. I mean, yes. some people will cube it, some people will shred it real fine. Yep. I like the way you have it, where you yep. have different sized pieces that, you yep. know, every time you take a little soup, you get a different size piece of chicken. And I'm lazy, so I call it rustic. <laughs> that's what it is. You call it rustic. You call it rustic, you can get away with yeah. whatever you want. <laughs> Exactly, so you're going to yeah. do that. <laughs> if you have leftover chicken, you might or might not. You can always use this for something else, chicken right. salad, tacos, something. You want to add more flavor so in it. So you won't use the whole chicken in a, in a pot of soup? I could, but you I could, won't. But won't. It depends okay, on right. how many people. You're going to feed 10, That's 11 true. people. Yeah. You're going to need the whole thing. Now, the thing here is save. You've got two things here, the straining and the carcass. Save the carcass because you can use the carcass and make another stock later on. And then you're going to freeze it. So when you're going to make your stock, you've got that water that was over here mm -hmm. originally. And if we had it, we would show you. Um, and what I did here is you take that water and put it in another bowl that you can strain. You strain so you want to get all those veggies yeah, out. And some stuff will come out yeah. of the chicken that you don't Junk. want in the, right. in, the, in the soup itself. So once you strain it, you get to call it stock. Then it's stock. Now, some can go right in here okay. if you're going to make a chicken noodle soup right away, or you can put in a container, freeze it, refrigerate it. If you're going to freeze it, label it so you know how long you've had it and how many cups are in it. So many recipes call for chicken stock, so oh you yeah. might as well know how much you've got to begin with. So I scoop it out, pour it in here, put it in the container. And you know what? You can also control the salt in, when you're making it at home because the, point. the stock you buy a, in the store has a lot of salt in it. Yep. This is one of the reasons why I like to talk about healthy cooking mm -hmm. because you can really, you're eliminating all your additives, your preservatives, you're controlling the salt. Real good point. I have the salt here, which I yep. should have shown you myself. That's uh, right. And you actually also there. use a special kind of herb that you like. 
They're, what I like about these herbs is that they're inexpensive. So okay. if you're brand new to cooking, one of your staff was saying we should call this cooking for yeah. newbies. If you've <laughs> not, I have, my husband will tell you I have a pantry full of herbs. Right, but right. if you're new at it, you can go to the supermarket, get these little packets, yeah, packets. Cool. of individual herbs for like a dollar and change. Yeah. They're fabulous. And this is, you'd more use this in more than one recipe. Oh, I mean, a lot a, of recipes. There's a lot That's of time. This is time and there's a lot in there. So. Yeah. All right, yeah. so we've got, uh, we're ready to go ahead and make the final product now, right? Right, right. So I started this earlier, so I had stock that I made from this chicken last night. I put it in here, got it boiling, okay. put some cut up fresh carrots, not the other ones. We threw all those away. So we've got some nice fresh carrots mm -hmm. in here. And let's say carrots take roughly eight, nine minutes at a low boil. So you want to say, mm, about half that time. Okay. How much time are you going to need for your egg noodles? I bought whole wheat egg noodles this time. You can buy the plain. So you're, you're going to use egg noodles yep. for this? Okay. Yep, yep. And it looks like you've broken those up. You don't nope. want big, long noodles in there, right? Nope, these come like this. Oh, this that's is the just a package of, of egg, okay. egg noodles. Yeah, they're really terrific. So you put those in when your cooking time is about half done for the carrots. So you're going to add another five minutes or so. The reason for this is you don't want this to be a soggy mess. You want to keep right. this as fresh as possible. So when you're getting ready to serve, you've called everybody to the table, or just yourself if you're enjoying mm -hmm. a meal by yourself, you take your shredded up chicken so you and you put that in. Late, in. Okay, late very late. This way it doesn't get mushy. It doesn't. What I'm more worried about the mush with the egg noodles right. and the carrots. And you're going to make exactly as how much you need just for the meal tonight because you want to avoid the mush the sure. next day. So there you go. So there's your meal. You stir that around. You get everything nice and warm after the egg noodles and the carrots Excellent. have cooked. And bada bing, bada boom. And you put yeah, it in you your bowl. Yeah, you just kind of warm that chicken through, and then you want to go ahead and I'll slide that off. All right, here. it's not too hot. Okay. Yep. And we're, by the magic of uh, television again, <laughs> we'll assume the egg uh, noodles are cooked. Yeah. But you exactly um, so. go right in here and you take some of your lovely stock that has Fantastic. no preservatives. And for roughly, oh, I don't know dollar and a half a bowl, you've got a nice yeah. healthy meal, you've got vitamin A, you've got some protein. And it's you've got great. enough to make another pot of you uh, betcha. soup. Is you betcha. You betcha. Yep, you should have quite, eno quite enough for Karen, other thank meals. you so much. I'm glad thank that we got you in here. We talked thank about doing you. this for a while. So Karen fun. actually has done TV before. You used to do cooking segments in the Northeast. I did. You can probably tell from the accent. <laughs> I come from Massachusetts, and we have a cable TV uh, station up where uh, we live. And before COVID hit, I did a right. uh, uh, different, but yeah, full half hour Neat. cooking for newbies kind well, of thank show. Thank you so much for joining us here on Morning Break. Thank Love you. to have you back. Uh, really Love interested in a lot of those affordable, healthy meals we'll that families, it. I mean, all families are yep. looking for options. Love like to that. do it. Love to have Karen, thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.